Mike Bordick is talking with me again this morning. This time it's about encouraging new generations of baseball players. Mike is here on behalf of the Baseball Warehouse Charities, which aims to bring the love of and benefits of baseball to children. Mike serves on the board of directors. Okay, I have a lot to talk about. First, let's explain this to viewers. For one, there's the Baseball Warehouse. Now, you're on staff there. These are training and practice facilities? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, three facilities in Maryland. We just opened up a beautiful facility in Red Lion, PA. Yay. Got like four batting cages. You could fit almost a full-size infield on the turf. So, uh, yeah, we give lessons, uh, professional instruction, guys that played either in the big leagues or in the minor leagues. We have uh, Scott Thompson, who's a coach, he coached Division I baseball for over 20 years. So there's really top of the line instruction, and uh, we try to teach, you know, basic fundamentals of the game, but also the mental side of the game, encourage kids to uh, support teamwork and, and all the great values, I think, that baseball instills. It is a great sport, and within the baseball warehouse, you have the baseball warehouse charities. You're on the board of that. What is that component? Yeah, the charities basically uh, helps to give underprivileged kids uh, and deserving kids more opportunities to play the great game of baseball. Um, you know, all the money kind of goes back into the to the game, to the kids. Uh, we're able to facilitate uh, these opportunities through giving them equipment, uh, build scholarships for them to let them participate in some of the clinics and lessons that we have throughout the state. Which is such a blessing because baseball can be expensive. It can be quite ex an expensive sport. No, it really has kind of taken a turn, I guess, for the worse in that regard. So we're trying to keep our costs down and just give more and more kids the opportunity to play the game. I, I think sports in general is great for all kids to be a part of, to, to learn really how to overcome, you know, some challenges. And, and really that's what sport teaches, more so in the line of baseball, because even the greatest players fail seven out of ten times in baseball. <laughs> yeah, Hall of Famers, right? Really so uh, learn how to pull yourself up and make it through the challenging times. Right, so you're teaching them this, and you yourself as part of this, like you, you talk with the, the students. Absolutely. I've had a great opportunity to go to some schools here in the Pennsylvania area, southern Pennsylvania area, um, and share my experiences, which I think in a lot of ways kids need to hear. Yeah, they they, they kind of buy into the success part of it, but the vulnerabilities, some part of it that I share is that I got cut from three of my middle school teams. So to be able to overcome that, I think a lot of kids, especially in middle school, they get discouraged. They, they don't want to stick with something just because they might have gotten cut. And uh, to keep kind of persevering through, I think it's great for all kids to kind of hear and even adults. I love talking to parents about having continued support of their kids, especially what we've just gone through with COVID. Mm -hmm. I think to be able to support them and encourage them to play sports is going to be beneficial to them down the road. And these students who are going through the baseball warehouse, I mean, they're working with former MLB players. To drop some names for me. Yeah, we've got some great uh, players. Well, Rick Dempsey is going to be opening up a new facility down in Maryland. All-star catcher played over, I think he played in three decades uh, of baseball. So uh, pretty impressive uh, resume. Goose Gossage has been to a bunch of our events. Uh, Derek Lee, former Major League player. Calvin Maduro pitched for the Phillies and the Orioles. So there is a long list of professional players that really help impact some of these young players and inspire them to achieve great things. Uh, coming up this summer and fall, you have two fundraisers coming up, really fun ones. Can you just quickly tell us what those are? Yeah, I think August 2nd, uh, right at Wellspan Park, we're home of the York Revolution. We're having a hit-a-thon. Rick Dempsey and I are going to host that. Going to have a lot of fun. Last year was our inaugural inaugural season and uh, with that and we had a blast and something very special that's happening in October there uh, Jose Canseco former baseball star kind of yeah, controversial that name, right? that name. <laughs> celebrity he's gonna have a home run derby hitting derby contest uh, I got kids can sign up and challenge Jose Canseco so that's gonna wow. be a lot of fun that's as well. a dream come true yeah. for many well it's been lovely talking with you we sure appreciate you making the trip up to Same be here, here with thank us thank you so much for having oh you are very welcome we'll be right back